Hey, Gospelite. Pastor Capace here with my secretary, Carrie Backel. And we are very excited to come to you today with a final testimony, kind of recapping our Community Compassion Project and then transitioning to a brand new project and being the hands and feet of Jesus during this COVID-19 pandemic. So we're real excited to kind of give you a final testimony here about all that we experienced in the office every day as these needs would come in. So I want to just ask Carrie a couple questions and, and have her respond. So Carrie, we started this project. We were so excited. Ken set the website up and then we'd come in in the mornings and what would happen? Well, we would open up our spreadsheet and see who responded um, with requesting for help and then who also responded to volunteer. So it was, a, it was very exciting to see um, who signed up and who's going to volunteer. And I remember one morning over the weekend, um, we came in and there was like six new people who signed up requesting for help. So it was just really exciting to see um, who responded to that. That's exactly right. She's right. We would come in and kind of match them up. You know, we would look at the list, which it was obviously we had a long list of people that said they would help, you know, and some sent money. Some of you gave money. Some of you uh, said, hey, I can deliver. Mm -hmm. Others said, hey, I can actually purchase groceries and deliver groceries or whatever. And then we would look at the need, look at the person, kind of try to match that. Um, it was really cool. It was really fun. And you're, uh, I remember that morning we had like six and we we're like, oh man, yeah. six people. <laughs> we averaged probably two or three, you know, and sometimes one, but but we knocked them out within 24 hours, yeah. usually. Yeah. yeah. So tell us a little bit about uh, how we would work with the small groups, because I thought that was cool, too. Yeah, um, preacher would assign a small group to somebody, so I'd contact the small group leader and give them the contact information of the person requesting help and what their needs were, and then that small group leader would reach out to their small group members, and they would normally, I think, collect money and pitch in all together, and then somebody from that small group would go and do the delivery. That's cool. That yeah. was really cool. <laughs> I love that, you know, we're stronger together. One more thing, a funny one. So we would always uh, email the families as they would request groceries, and we would say, hey, you know, I told Carrie, just, just ask them for a modest list. Tell them, you know, we're not, you know, we, we, we can't, we don't have a lot of money, so be, be care, careful as to what you request. And most people were. And, you know, they would, they would list a lot of things, but they were all just items. But one family every day, so cool. <laughs> Tell them about that. We looked at the list and... Um, I know there was like one person, she even like listed a microwave, a coffee pot, <laughs> pots and pans. <laughs> it was kind of funny. <laughs> it was kind of funny. I thought, wow, okay, a modest list, you know, <laughs> kitchen appliances. Uh, so needless to say, we were able to, to get them everything but those things. So it was, it was just kind of funny. So we had a great time. I think it was highly successful. Yes, definitely. And I love the testimonies that we had each week. Uh, they were just awesome. So now we're transitioning. That's going to come off the website, the Community Compassion Project, and coming onto the website this Thursday, after, uh, uh, in fact, right now, I mean, after this announcement, you can go to the website and notice it will say, Celebrating Our Heroes, and here's how we're going to do that. So, Carrie, tell us about partnering with New Life Church in Hot Springs and how we're going to work with them to do something very special. Yeah, so New Life reached out to us, um, and I've been in contact with their secretary. Her name is Jennifer. And they've been heading up a project. They want to feed um, the first responders in our city. So um, we're going to be able to help with the police department. And then I think we're going to be able to help with um, feeding workers at the hospital and LifeNet. And um, we also want to have an opportunity to pray with them when we um, deliver them their meals. That is so cool. So Carrie's been working with Jennifer. And here's kind of what we've come up with. It starts next week. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to ask our people to donate $10 per pizza. All right, so for instance, on the website, it'll just have a place that you can donate $10 to buy one pizza, or you might be in a position where you can buy 10 pizzas, and that's cool. Some of the places are going to have, you know, 20, 30, maybe even up to 50 people to feed, so we'll have to get, you know, a lot of pizzas. But it's going to be really cool to see how our church and New Life Church comes together, and we'll combine our resources and I think it'll be great. I mean, they're looking forward to working with us. We're looking forward to working with them. And then what we'll do is we'll give everybody a chance that can, even if it's just a couple people that want to come and meet us at the police station or at the hospital, and we'll just have a word of prayer together either with them 
are just there in the parking lot for them. All right. So again, the way to donate is to go to the website, celebrate our heroes and make a, a minimum donation of $10 up to however many times 10 you'd like to give. Carrie will take it from there. She'll make sure she communicates with Jennifer and we get this thing done. So I'm excited. Exciting. So thanks, church. Looking forward to project number two before we get back together as a church on June 14th.